Hi, my name is Katrina Janesco, and I'm a sophomore at Temple University. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my final project for my first ever comp sci course, CIS 1051, or Intro to Problem Solving and Programming in Python. Um, first, I'm just going to register, log in, and show you how it works while I give you a little bit of a backstory. I went vegan a couple years ago. If you don't know, it's basically a diet free from animal products. And by now, I'm pretty well versed in quickly scanning through an ingredients list and being able to decipher whether a food product is vegan or not. But it can be annoying and tricky when the ingredients lists are super long and are printed really tiny and squished on a package. And so with my web app, you can actually upload a picture um, either here or here if you click look up. Um, and it'll tell you actually whether it's vegan or not. Um, here I've got a couple sample images I'd already taken. Uh, this one is of bagels. And we're going to find out whether they are vegan or not based on their barcode. As you can see here, they are vegan. It'll also give you the brand, product name, the barcode, the ingredients list, and it'll also spit back the picture you gave it, but with a rectangle around the barcode. Next up, we're going to try Hot Pockets. Um, spoiler alert, they are not vegan. Uh, they've got ham, cheese, a whole bunch of offending ingredients in them. As you can see, it'll tell you the reason it's not vegan is because of the ham. Um, that's because the program will just identify the first offending ingredient. Now, if I go over to the history page, I can see all my past lookups. And clicking this link um, over here, that's green, will take me to the barcode database website where I got the information. And clicking on about veganism brings me to some info and resources about the diet. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to carry my PC around Giant and 7-Eleven. How the heck am I going to use this? And don't you worry, because there is a mobile version. A couple things gave me the idea for this project, one of them being when my mom came home from the grocery store complaining how difficult it was to tell whether this bread was vegan because it's so hard to read and she wasn't really sure whether certain ingredients were vegan, like what the heck is monodiglycerides anyway? She shouldn't have to Google that to buy me bread. After taking this class, my biggest takeaway is why do something by hand when you can automate it and make life easier? And so boom, there you have it. Snap a picture, find out if it's vegan in a matter of seconds. And all it took me was hours and hours and hours of my blood, sweat, and tears to learn Flask, HTML, CSS, OpenCV, SQLite, and some more things like how to use VS Code and how to read things on Stack Exchange. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, this project is very important to me. It certainly isn't finished, but I don't remember the last time I was this proud of myself. And I can't wait to make it better. Thank you to Professor Rosen and to my TA, Tamara, for helping me on this learning journey.